before we start the video today, I want to ask you guys again if you can go down to the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified of my new videos. And if you're not subscribed yet, watch this video. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Alrighty, guys, back with uh, part four of this video. Um, yesterday, or for you, it was probably a week ago, but I left you guys off with a. Uh, I couldn't get the upper control arm out. So I'm gonna start working on that today. This is, I got it, it's disconnected from those bolts in there and stuff. It's all unbolted. I just need to kind of shimmy it out of there. I mean, um, it's kind of squeezed in and I'll figure it out, but we'll see what I can do. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So I hope you've seen that, but I uh, I got the upper control arm out. Um, I looked at the footage and I was a little bit in the way, but <clears throat> pretty much what I did was I rotated it like this, and then I pushed the bottom half up, and that part had to barely scrape past this like fender right there, that fender wheel well. So um, I didn't do any damage really. I just kind of scratched the wheel well right there. Just a teensy bit, uh, but it's okay. We'll probably touch it up a little bit, but I mean, it's not the most beautiful engine bay anyways. But we got the control arm out now, so we can clean this up and paint it, and also remove that ball joint. So, um, I'll come back to you with what I need to do next. All right, you guys, so since I got the control arms out, uh, my next step will be to um, take, take the ball joints out. Um, I had bought an air chisel from uh, Harbor Freight, but it didn't work at kind of taking the fastener heads off. So I'm going to drill them out. Uh, I've never done this before, so uh, I'm going to show you guys me learning how to do it. But basically, from what my understanding is, is that you center punch it, and I have this automatic center punch for that. You just press down on it, and it clicks, and it makes a divot. And I also have a series of drill bits. Um, so from what my understanding is, is you start off small and you just kind of divot it after you center punch it and then you just work your way up until it kind of bottoms out the fastener head and then you hit it with like a chisel or something and it, it'll bust off the fastener head. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, uh, one of these wire wheels to just kind of knock off all the grease that's like stuck on here. I sprayed it down with some, uh, some degreaser so it'll come off easier but I'm gonna hit that off so, to expose the uh, the fastener heads then I'm gonna put um, use my my Walmart drill 25 bucks I've had no problems with it so uh, if you need a drill that's a pretty good drill to have um, but yeah so then I'm gonna use my drill bits drill it out and I'm gonna show you guys that right now all right you guys I apologize for the the weird angle but um, Kind of cramped up where I'm working right now, so I also apologize for any background noise. But um, so basically, right now I'm just going to kind of clean off all this this junk. All right, so that looks clean enough to me. So I'm just going to probably switch over to the drill bits but um I'm I probably got some grease on my uh, my wire wheel so I'm just gonna spray it down with some degreaser and just let it sit like that so now I'm gonna come in with my center punch and I'll show you guys that right now so basically with this I'm just trying to try to find the center of the rivet down a few times. So you see that little divot in the middle? That's the uh, center punch. I got a nice little crater on all three of them. You can see that really good on that one. So 
Okay, so with the 3 8 inch, it kind of took the whole top off, so I'm going to see how to get it out after this point. What I'm going to do now is since I have these little bits of metal that are like left over, I'm going to hit them with a uh, cold chisel to kind of crack those off. And then I'm going to come in from the side and hit it like right there to kind of pry it up. And then I have the pry bar to finish prying it with, so I want to do that right now. All right, there we go, ball joints out. All right, so I got the ball joint out of the way, but the rivets are still in the control arm. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did to the top side to the back side so that it'll, uh, so I can drill them out from behind. So I got the holes drilled out. So now it's just holes and I got the balls going out. So now I need to move on to the uh, lower control arm, which I won't show you guys because you get the point, it's the same idea. So. I'm gonna do that right now and I'll be back once I finish. All right guys, so I got the uh, both of the ball joints out, so now um, all I need to do is clean it. I didn't film the lower ball joint because I thought it would be pretty similar, but it wasn't. I mean, this is, this is it right now, I got it out. Uh, it was weird because the rivets don't pop through, they just kind of mushroom until you could kind of clear the edge of the, the cup. Um, so I got this one out and this one out. All right, you guys, I got the upper and lower ball joints out. So I hope you enjoyed the video and tune in next week for uh, control arm bushing removal and cleaning. So I will see you then. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you can please click right here to subscribe. Um, check out these two of my most recent videos up in the top. And this video down here has been particularly picked for your taste. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.